So it's been about a month and a half since I had my first consult for my SRS. And uh, I'm still fat. But not as much. It's true. So hey everybody. Um, the day I'm recording this is June 19th. Happy Juneteenth. And if you don't know what that is, go look it up. But um, it has been a little over a month and a half since I had my first consult for SRS. So actually yesterday was day 50 of my weight loss journey. And I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, yesterday I also had my second consult um, with the SRS team at Rutgers and and as of this morning when I weighed myself I've lost about 27 pounds so as it stands I'm in a pretty good position as far as how much weight I've been losing which amounts to about uh, four or so pounds or more uh, a week so if I keep that up by my next consult which is at the end of August, I probably should be at the goal weight um, that I need to be in order to safely do the surgery and not have any issues. Granted, I don't plan on just stopping there, and I would very much like to lose more than I need to in order to have the surgery, but I'm happy so far with how things have been progressing. Um, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I have not been doing a great job of exercising. I just haven't. Um, in the past month and a half, I've had a bunch of stuff going on uh, at home. Rachel and I launched a podcast. And I've also been shooting and editing these videos once a week, which is actually probably the worst reason to not exercise. I don't have enough time to exercise and lose weight because I'm shooting videos about how I should be exercising and losing weight. That makes sense. But here we are. So, I have to do better. My biggest fear is that a lot of what has come off so far has just been from my diet change, um, doing the keto diet. Um, it has been working. People say it works, and it does. However, um, my biggest fear is that I'm going to hit a plateau, and if that happens, then I very well might not hit the goal weight that I need to. So, I need to make sure that I'm exercising in order to supplement what I'm doing with my diet and burning off more fat. Regardless, I've been trying to stay active, it just hasn't been as organized as it should be. Now, going back to the diet, um, it is actually easier than I thought it would be. I will freely admit that I am dying for a pizza. This morning I was out and I thought, hey, you know, I could go to the bagel shop. I could and I could stand there and smell the bagels, but I couldn't have any of the bagels. And I don't want to do that to myself. And it was a difficult transition getting used to not eating any bread, being very particular about not eating prepared things, and checking to make sure whatever I am consuming doesn't have a bunch of sugar or things like that. Changing my shopping routine so that I'm getting more vegetables and better protein selections. It is very much a lifestyle shift. And frighteningly, whenever I have incidentally tasted something that was a little bit sweet, for instance, I got ketchup on my hand the one day when I was making something for my daughter and not thinking, I just licked it off of my pinky. Ketchup's not supposed to be super sweet, but it was. So my palate seems to be changing and that's just weird. But once you get into the groove of 
what kinds of things you're going to eat, it's not that hard. You just keep doing the same thing. I have lots of eggs in the morning. I have lots of Greek yogurt. And let me tell you, there's a lot you can do with Greek yogurt. That sounded weird. But it's tasty, and you can doctor it up. And I know that there are lots of people who are really particular about their macros and being a hardcore about the keto diet. I don't have the time to obsess over it. The whole point is to get my body in a better shape, not just for the surgery, but for myself. But I'm not going to make my life about losing weight. It's more about getting into the rhythm of a healthier lifestyle, and as a result, the weight will come off. Does that make sense? I am freaking sweating. Why is it so hot in here? So apparently, when you have like studio lights on in the living room, uh, it, it helps if you have the air conditioner on. Stupid girl. Anyway, so I guess my point is that you can really get involved in the specifics of, of losing weight. You can make it a hobby, but I got too much shit going on. But my goal going forward is scheduling my time in such a way that my lifestyle change naturally incorporates adequate exercise time. So like I said in the first video, I've got to ramp it up. I'm doing well so far, and I don't plan on going back. So let me know, what have you guys been up to over the past several weeks? Have you been trying to lose weight too? If you have, what's worked for you? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> So Rachel always finds it funny that I invite everybody to comment by gesturing towards my crotch. Sweetie, get your head out of the gutter. So please, like, share, subscribe. Go check out the podcast. I want to turn some of these lights off and sit in the air conditioning and have this glass of water. I'll see you around.